that. All right. Hi everyone, and welcome back to our Let's Play a Space Quest One: The Sarian Encounter. It's me, Dia, and I'm here with M. M, what's we're up? here. It's time to get off this dust ball. We are getting off this dust ball. We got a robot. We got a spaceship. Um, we don't got coupons or anything. I, we don't actually know how to use our inventory. Is there? Oh wait, here we go. Tab. I should have remembered that from King's Quest Three because King's Quest Three is all about fucking item management. You are carrying a cartridge, a key card, a jetpack, a xenon army knife, a gadget, glass, buckazoids, and a survival kit. Nice. Cool. I think we still have the survival kit, even though really only we needed the water out of it. Yeah. All right. So let's, let's put droid in ship. Okay. No. Let's just get in the ship. Maybe the droid will come with us. He's gonna jump right into it, man. We're... Oh, oh he does. He... Oh, God. oh, he goes into it. He's on. Oh, is he gonna go into it? Okay, he's just there. All right. Um, close. Uh, start. Oh Talk. yeah. Hmm. Okay. Close canopy. Oh yeah, no. Um, I guess just start ship. <laughs> Turn on ship. Seated in the cruiser, you notice there are no controls here, just a button marked load. Tiny must have been serious when he said you would need a droid to fly it. Oh, wow. Okay. Press load button. Let's do it. Oh, there he goes. Oh, sick. <laughs> what sector shall I head for, sir? Asked the droid. HH. HH. -H. Em remember. just remembers yeah. it. I got it run a little notepad next to me. But uh, yeah, so we're going to we're going to go. We're going to hit that HH. It's funny because I have two things written on it. I have HH and 6856. Yes. That's it. That's <laughs> I like... uh, it turns out 6856 is not a randomized number. It's that number in every version. Oh, like, is it? Every... I yep. figured it would just be like some kind of bullshit copy protection thing because like, there are a number nope. of games that do have kind of internal shit like that. Yeah. That's funny. Well, we tried. Um, H -H oh, there we go. Sector HH it is. I will proceed with course entry. Damn. Wait, wait a minute. Where do you <laughs> think you're going with my ship? Off you go into the purple yonder. We still love it. No ship. Cool. Mm -hmm. We didn't steal it. It was illegally sold to us. That's it's not our. True. That's not on us. I don't know that Greta would see it. That way. well done, Roger. You've managed to overcome the elements of Corona, from endless deserts and spider droids to obnoxious salesmen and bad booze. Yes, the sand in your boots shall forever serve as a reminder of this forsaken planet. You should feel proud. But now, destiny awaits with an even greater challenge. A harder speeder level. Are they there, droid? Oh, no. <laughs> if I'm right, I'm so sad. <laughs> damn it. All right. <clears throat> uh, asteroid is misspelled asteroid is misspelled asteroid. i love that but i also love that the dot above the i and the dot below the exclamation are like aligned oh yeah so it forms this kind of weird all right fine file save <clears throat> there we Asteriods. go Oh, oh, this is all just a cutscene. Oh, this is just a cutscene. That's. I do like this, uh, like bobbing and weaving. It's really nice. Yeah, no, this is some this is some good animation right here. We have established visual contact with a ship of Sarian origin, says the droid. The name Deltar is confirmed. You may consider that fact that we are in danger by being anywhere near this ship. I hope you didn't waste money on the extended warranty when you purchased me. Thank you, sardonic droid. I will slow our approach and stand off at a safe distance. Okay. I feel like it can't be overstated how much hitchhikers, like, influenced a whole generation of boomers that don't matter anymore. Oh, man. Yeah, no. Like. Because nobody talks about hitchhikers anymore. At least in where, like, world I live, live in, right? Yeah, I don't, I can't think of any. Like, unless they're just, like, they lament the Zoe Deschanel movie. 
like that's that's the only time it's uh, ever brought up is I, you, whatever happened to Zoe Deschanel? Oh, she did the Hitchhikers movie and then had to go away. She's been on TV for decades. I know. I know. Is but that people, show still on? That show might still be on. I'd believe it if you told me it was still on. But no one talks about her anymore. No. That's that's gone. That's gone away. If you're not in People magazine, you're gone. No matter how much you're working. That's true. All right. Let's look around. You'll have to look right. Fine. Look around. Are you sure you want to look at that? Look, cosmos. Okay. Look, stars. That does not look, seem sorry. to be in your sight now. Okay, fine. Look, Deltar. All right. Before you lies the Sarian battlecruiser Deltar, an imposingly massive ship. Now you understand why the Arcada was so easily overtaken. Your first instinct is to turn the ship around and head for home. But then you realize that unless you do something to try and stop the Sarians, there will be no home. All right. Dock um, ship? Dock with Deltar? Okay, to understand no. Dock. Um, go to Deltar. Your legs will take you where you want to go. In most cases, anyway. Okay. Um, fly to Deltar. Say what? You are now wearing the jetpack. A small control linkage snaps onto your back of your helm, allowing you to control it by merely by focusing on where you want to go. Um, okay, let's see. I'll be honest. Even though we looked at the inventory, I had forgotten that we had a jetpack. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the only thing I remember was like, I was like, oh yeah, that's right, the jetpack, because that's what we we sold the speeder for. Um, okay, leave ship. Before leaving the safety of your ship, you instruct the little droid to set a course for Xenon, where you will rendezvous later, providing, of course, that you are successful in carrying out your mission. Once again, you are on your own. You're really enterprising for a janitor. I'll be honest. Really? I would not expect this much. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. This is this is an Atari game to me. This is so great. What happens if we run out of jetpack fuel? Do you think? Oh, we'll probably die. We'll probably drift off in space and die. Let's hold on. Okay. Let's just see if we go. Have we go? We go to the side. Oh, oh, dude, we got <laughs> shot. The inhabitants of this vessel don't appear to appreciate your desire to sightsee. You have been transformed into space dust. Well, you've doomed everyone. Yep. I I genuinely think my biggest complaint about this game, other than the slot machines, is the the death thing. The further you get in the game, should be a little more positive about you dying, like three yeah. quarters way through the game. Okay. Let's... Which is a ludicrous thing to care about, but I do. This is what I care about. Okay. There appears to be a standard airlock. There's a handle in the center. Okay. Um, turn handle. You grasp the large handle and twist, noting the rather significant amount of pain being registered. You're extremely grateful to hear a click. Did you ever play Metroid Prime 3? That's what I imagine this is. I love the opening doors in that, with the Wiimote. No, I never I never played the... the I, I played one, and that was it. Um, so, in 3, because it was a Wii game, all of the doors were like... You hold the Wiimote out, like, vertically as you, like, attach the handle, and then you had to pull back, like, straight back, and then turn... It was like the like those Star Trek like Wrath of Khan style handles where you turn it like oh like ninety the, degrees the, and yeah like push you grip it back it, in yeah yeah That's cool. it was really cool yeah I missed the Wii you know what I'm gonna say it the Wii was a great console <laughs> I disagree but I do miss things like that <laughs> I had so much fun like uh, uh, Sarah's mom had a Wii and um, whenever we were down in at her house like like that's where we played Resident Evil Four that was good. It was better than... I, I replayed Resident Evil 4 on the Wii. I played it on the GameCube originally. I had played it originally on the GameCube, and um, that was it was good. But then I played on the Wii, and that was like so much more fun. As you enter the Sarian ship, the airlock door seals itself behind you. You try to open it again without any success. It appears that you are stuck here. Well, I would save. We're saved right outside the door. Yeah, uh, you're probably right, but but yeah, no, that's a good point. Open door. The door is not impressed. <laughs> Look door. Yeah. You see no apparatus of any sort which would open the door. Oh mm. oh, bleat, gurgle, pop. Apologizes the strange robot as he pushes you aside. Oh look at that little guy.
Hmm. Okay, go outside. What if we? Hmm. Okay. You just gotta not get. In the... Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. I just remember last time we ran into Sarians, it would save every screen, so this is the right That's way true. to go. That's true. You are standing in a large, empty room within the Sarian ship. On one wall is a vent. There is some sort of trunk on the floor. Oh, I love that we're going to have to hide from a murderer inside the trunk like every video game. Get in the trunk. Get in the trunk. You climb in the trunk. The lid pounds shut above you. Oh, maybe we'll die in the trunk. That'd be funny, too. You hear, I like that we switch to it at this screen. You hear voices, muffled, then louder. You suddenly feel the trunk lift off the deck in the sensation of movement. After a few minutes, the trunk thuds to the floor, causing you to see stars in the darkness. The voices sound farther away, then gone. Yeah, yeah, Yoko Taro. Try that. <laughs> <laughs> As you exit the trunk, you notice that you have lost your jetpack. How? Excuse me. There's a jetpack in it. Don't worry about it. You won't be needing it anymore. Trust me. That's really funny. I like this. <laughs> this is good. I That's like that it's games. still in there. You know, like they, they purposely yeah. left it in there. Uh, let's look here. Let's look at this room. This room's got it kind of neat. You're in the ship's laundry facilities. It's okay. a big washing machine. Open door. Look in washer. Someone might be coming. You don't have time to be standing around. Okay, fine. Get in washer. Oh, we're going to die. Oh. Space. We're definitely about to die. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. We've got a spacesuit on. We can breathe in space. We can breathe in this washing machine. I would have assumed this would kill us, but... Open door. Somehow oh, we're in a... To... Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Somehow you managed to survive the rinse cycle. As you emerge from the cleaning unit, you notice that you are dressed in a Sarian battle uniform. What a stroke of genius. Now you can wander throughout the ship without calling attention to yourself. Is this the only way to progress? I assume it is. I assume it is. I like that this is like... What if the um the, like the emperor's guards, yes, did had like open sleeves? Remember last week, and I was like, it's really good. This game doesn't have a lot of like adventure game logical leaps. Uh, I take it back. This one's an adventure game logical leap. <laughs> um, I think this one's great. It's funny, uh, but I would not naturally think to do it. I mean, I guess you can just walk, right? You don't care about this guy now. Yeah, I was trying to see if if we had any. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's talk to him. Oh, damn. Got a light? Sorry, don't drink. Okay. I like that he's ridding up like you're about to punch him or something. I know. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Just walk past him. Oh, there you go. Where's that going? This is a complicated screen. The guard looks at you as though you just questioned his mother's heritage. Perhaps you should not waste time conversing with the guards. Okay, fine. God. Mother, fine. Let's go this way. Oh. Oh. That seems like it'll kill you if you touch it. That but... seems like it will kill me. Scary Troy. All right. Let's... There's a guardian droid here roaming the corridor. Fortunately, I recognize you as a Syrian. Okay, so I, oh. it's fine with us. So now we're, now this is this is like you know, um, the the final mm -hmm. section of Gabriel Knight where, <laughs> where you're in the the is like. This the, the room we've been in before. Yeah, this is where we came in. Okay. Uh, so these are elevators, I guess. Yeah. Seems no different than all the other doors aboard the ship. Okay, open door. Huh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, he's walking into it. Oh, here we go. There's another guard over here. He doesn't care. Mm -hmm. So 
so now we're we're oh, there's that that guy again. I, I don't even know what our goal is here. Stop them, obviously. Well, yeah, but... I guess we got to we got to stop. Oh, here's this here's here's this guy. I think that's probably the the the, the star creator, or whatever. Um, yeah. Talk to God. Guard. Is it guard? <laughs> the fuck is it guard? Talk to guard. Leave me alone. I'm guarding the star generator. Um, oh, fair enough. Ask guard about star generator. I was gonna ask. Okay, talk to guard about star generator. Do you understand about? Okay, you understand about it every other context. Hmm. Can you just punch him? Hit guard. Damn. <laughs> I'm trying, <laughs> motherfucker. Um, tackle guard? It's not going to recognize tackle. I wish I... Uh... Oh, okay. At the base of the star generator is a control panel of some sort. Okay. Look, control panel. The force field which surrounds the star generator prevents you from getting any closer. Okay, so we got a force field that we got to deal with. I guess we'll go up top and across okay. the catwalk. Yeah, that seems like the, the correct answer. You know, for corridors, these are pretty good corridors, though. For for and they are pretty competitive good. ones. I like the the little vents. Um, I like the, the they have the, like a real arcade game vibe to me. Uh huh. They really do. Like this really feels like you know, like early '80s like side scrolling like shooter. Yes. Yeah. It helps. That, like I was thinking like an elevator action kind of thing. Right? Oh yeah, 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 totally. It also, like I, I, I guess I guess Roger. I almost said Roger. I almost said Sleep, but uh, Roger kind of looks like he's like one of the dudes from Narc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Look at this. Oh, hello. Are those guns That's on the gun. walls? Yeah. Those are... Welcome to the weapons dispensary. I will assist you. Please supply me with your identification card. Well, so we don't have one of those, do we? I don't. I don't think I have one of those. Um. Uh, look around. Rows of weapons on the wall tell you that you are in the Deltar's armory. There is a service droid behind the weapons issue counter. Hmm. Um, show ID. You do not possess a valid Syrian ID card. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, look counter. There are two grass grenades sitting on the right side of the counter. Do, do, do. Look over there, droid. Take grenade. I'm sorry, you may not possess that device. That would be punishable by death. Okay, fine. Jesus. Thanks. All right, Future so right. we got to go somewhere else in the ship to get our ID card. Oh, yeah, we got to get an ID card from, from guard somewhere. Hmm. Well, there's plenty of the ship we haven't seen yet. Is there? I don't know where we are on the ship. I, I have a good sense. You have a good I sense? I will direct. Okay, good. You can You can navigate. I'll sit here pushing arrow keys. I think of two paths we haven't taken yet. So oh. first off, we'll take this uh, elevator to the right. I have no short-term memory, so that, you know. Oh, and yeah, we got to swallow their right elevator. elevator. Yes. <laughs> nope. Really? Okay. Uh, then go. Oh, yeah, I guess. Okay, fine. Go right. Yeah. Oh. And then take that elevator. Yeah. Okay. Like you're giving me directions. I'm just kind of like, like I just feel like if you're like, no, McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. Go, go through the door, <laughs> asshole. Okay. Well, hmm. Oh, this is where we came yeah, from, this... right? We were standing in a large empty room with the Sarian ship on one wall as a vent. Well, we're definitely going to have to get in that vent then. Climb wall. 
can't seem to that. Okay. Is. Oh yeah. I was like, I need to stand on something. Can we go down? Let's find out. I think so. I think that might be indicate a door. The door is not impressed. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I need a card. Have you played King's Quest Three? You ask the guard. Wow. Yes, responds the surprised guard. I just bought it last week. It was on sale for 128,000 buckazoids at Tiny's Holodisc Shop. What a bargain. Incredible. Hey, bud, what's with the helmet indoors? Asked the curious guard. Shh, you exclaim. I'm hiding from the boss figuring you might confuse the guard. Okay. Here. Okay. Huh. Well, now I'm now I am lost. I ran we ran out of all of the ideas because yeah. the other elevator didn't work. Hmm. He looks to be armed and dangerous. I wouldn't mess around with him. Why? Don't actually want to blow your cover, do you? Yes, I do. Um, punch card. Hmm. Hmm. Do you own King's Quest 2? Asks the nosy guard. No. Too bad. Okay. Just as you begin to speak, the Syrian guard asks, how many analexians does it take to seduce a three-year female syllabite? After a reasonable period of silence at your end, the guard answers his own joke, two. He does not seem unduly impressed by your lack of laughter. Which, route, which way to the little boy's room, you ask, hoping Sarians even do that sort of thing. The puzzled expression on the face of your newfound friend confirms your worst fears. Okay. Maybe we just go past her the one in front of the thing. I, uh, I, having explored all of our options, I did look at the hint book and it suggests a course of action. Um, if you would like to know what to do. <laughs> oh, sure. What the hell? Uh, search your pockets because you picked up a uniform. <laughs> and it doesn't, yeah. In the pocket of this uniform is an alien <laughs> identification card. The name on the card is Butston Freem. You wonder if this is a common Sarian name. There you go, Buttskin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so elevator? Yeah, elevator. left elevator, I think. And then left. No, no, left. Oh. We gotta go get the gun. Oh, yeah. And maybe a grenade if he'll give it to us. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, well, I feel like the grenade's on the counter. search pockets jesus christ we both love deja vu we should have known to search I know. pockets <laughs> i guess the thing is the thing is with deja vu is you always have your inventory up you know yes yeah um and that is like kind of like the fundamental difference there is that like when you have your inventory just like there staring you in the face you start thinking more about the combinations of it and like mm -hmm. the verbs associated with it welcome to the weapons dispensary um show id excuse me i shall retrieve your weapon cool uh i can't believe we're gonna end this game guns blazing like a real video game your rank allows you to bear one pulse ray unit remember no firing in the ship have a nice day f6 to fire pulse ray well you should save and do that immediately
No, not true. The droid explains that although he is not programmed for death, he considers it extremely rude to fire your <laughs> weapon indoors. He cautions you against doing so again. Sick. I want to want to like see the animation on this one. Let's see. Here we go. No, no. no. He did warn you. <laughs> okay, fair enough. He just, just got vaporized. Okay, I want to take one of these grenades though. Damn. Hmm. We don't have a gener. We don't know how to disable the generator. Is the thing we don't even know where the generator is. I'd assume it's on that one elevator we can't access yeah. yet. Yeah. The guard has oh. it. We could kill oh, the guard. No. My, aren't you clumsy? Aren't you the clumsy one? Because of your inability to walk without falling on your face, your helmet is now riding the elevator without you. You've blown your cover. The Syrians are sure to are sure to shoot first and ask questions later. Oh, shit. Shoot. If the robot droid could laugh, which it is not programmed to do, it would do so. Repulsory is only effective against living opponents. Damn. Oh, son of a bitch. I think it's random every time you leave an exit, so... Oh, damn, that wow. was fast. You've just been reduced to microparticles by the alien's pulse tray. Be quicker on the draw than that, Roger. Um, the hint book suggested we do need a grenade for the record. Oh. So I thought we did. Cause I thought like, yeah. Cause I, I remember you drop just a, like, you drop a grenade on that guy. Cause there's the gangway. I, can we, um, go back, go back in. Mm -hmm. Can we ask him to like, cause he leaves the room, right? Can we ask him to check the ID or something and then steal like a Skyrim move? <laughs> Silly human, you know the droids are not programmed for chit chat. Uh, for grenade, maybe? Yeah, to check. Hmm. Uh, show ID? Just maybe show ID again. Take grenade. Oh, you gotta do it faster than that. Yeah. Okay, I gotta say, I gotta. No, we'll just sleep and go back a sec. Maybe set it to uh, slower also. What? Did you lost your helmet? The droid explains as he eliminates you that he is very sorry that you are incapable of remembering that you already own a gun. But that, of course, he has many customers to deal with and you really are a nuisance. Before you can reply to this, you realize that you have no longer have the relevant body parts which you would reply, with which to reply. You, your last seconds of agony are spent hearing the phrase, next, please. Um, I guess we asked too many times. We asked too many times. Yeah, fair enough. God. Okay. Is that to slow? Yeah. Now we should be good. Oh. Oh, sick. Do you already have one? Uh, well, can't be greedy. Okay. All right. I think we're on fast, or were we on normal? Yeah, we run. We run. Fast is is where really kind of we want to be. Okay. Whoa! Oh. 
Ooh. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so we got to take the grenade and get out. Okay. That's so, uh I was not surprised. I was surprised by that. I'm surprised by that too. That's this is this is this is uh... I think we can take it from here. I don't think we need to leave and come back. Yeah. God damn. You're going to have to reload, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our, our biggest uh, opponent is you not being able to type. Okay, now let's book it. Damn it. I don't understand how you get him away fast enough. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Um, okay. I guess I just have to be better at this. <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Show. Son of a bitch. I guess, okay, I know. I have to ask him to go look in the back again. Well, no, because I can't, because he'll do. Huh. Well, well, goddamn. Oh, wait, can I, no, I can't. God damn, I really want you to, like... Yeah, I just check a guide, and this is, we're doing the right thing. Come on. You have to reload. Apparently you can type take bomb, which might be easier. Yeah, you're not close. <laughs> you gotta be on it. Yeah, I was just trying to see. There's no way I could be try. faster. Just try. Just try. Oh, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, this is this is supposedly the way to do this. Bro, how? <laughs> this is this is like I'm looking at a video. <laughs> there was one um, episode of, or there's one puzzle in uh, King's Qu Police Quest where I okay. couldn't do it. 
and the only way I... to get through it was to do this to walk <laughs> and like that um, was literally what they told me from sierra online's help desk the 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 video suggests maybe we need to roll back before we have the gun oh. and do this at, when he goes to give us the gun okay do we have the gun have um oh no Okay, there we go. Okay. So I think it's up. Yeah. I was wondering if that was the case. I'm like, well, I guess he does take a little bit longer. The... Wait, is it this way? Yeah. yeah I think we go this down. platform. Yeah. Book it, Roger. The hint book also says if you enter a room and there's a guard, just hit F6 immediately. <laughs> once once we lose our helmet. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, save first. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to overwrite this one. There we go. Yeah, so in theory, him him giving us the weapon might make it so we can just leave. That's what it sounded like, okay. anyway. Then... But if not, we'll try again. Yeah. You know, and then come back in and pick up the weapon. Oh, yeah, this is taking much longer. Okay. Yeah, he just doesn't notice. Yep. Damn. What a weird bit of logic there. That, yeah, wow. Um, like, it's funny because, like, that's, like, an interesting, like, I totally respect that. Like, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like a little puzzle design. But then also, like, f fuck you guys for the implementation. Um, yeah. Every other game and, like, you know, after this is going to be, like, no, no, no. They, they gonna, they're going to, they need to do the, take the same amount of time every time <laughs> you yeah. can do it. It's, like, a Monkey Island one with the, you have to have the, the, the shopkeep like go across the town or like go all the way across yes. the island so that you can open his bank vault but he will just keep doing it until you stop fucking up at the puzzle um do 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 drop grenade i guess yeah <laughs> the grenade drops to the floor, releasing its poisonous gas on the unsuspecting alien. Good shot, Roger. That was really that good frost. watching that uh, that animation. <laughs> it's, it's really impressive. They get some remarkably expressive faces out of EGA graphics. Yeah. Considering that eyes are literally like a line half the time. We'll probably want to save every screen after this. Yeah. <laughs> Such a good animation. It is. Okay. Well, clumsy. We know about that. Um, shout out to um, checking the YouTube videos so to find out that we were correct. Um, <laughs> Just I didn't the, want to spend all night redoing the same thing and getting no, no result. We, 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 we put in enough effort. That's like how my stepfather used to... Son of a bitch. Yeah, you got F6. We're fast drawing here. It's like I'm just going like, to like change the room and press F6, I guess, is the way yeah. to do it. Roger has red eyes and a red mouth. Dude, I hit F6. Can you not be walking when you do it, I guess? I guess not. So you have to like load the screen. Save right before we get on the next screen. Yeah, also. no, you're right. 
<laughs> you don't want you don't want to keep watching the, the helmet rolling animation. I do not. sure my finger is on f6 there we go for some reason the f keys don't light up on my keyboard mother motherfucker <laughs> of course <laughs> fucking of course uh very funny i guess we want to go through yeah Ross. yeah but we still i guess we did well, maybe the guards got a way to turn it off Yeah, we'll search the guard. You seem to have found a remote control device of some sort. It is only one button labeled on off. Okay. Take device. The guard has nothing else of interest. Okay. Um, turn off. Turn off. Flip switch. What are we calling it? Remote control. Remote control. Yeah. Press off button on remote control. Suddenly, the force okay, of the protecting the star generator disappears. Okay. We're we gonna take this whole damn thing, or are we blowing no, it up? We're blowing, we're blowing it, it up, baby. Right. Yeah. Um. Look. Control panel. Oh, sick. Like we could. <laughs> I like that despite having a mouse cursor, <laughs> you can't use it. Um, okay, so. <laughs> what is going on? What are you doing? I'm trying to. Press the button. Hit F6. Oh, F6. Why am I... Six. You didn't enter eight. it. Oh. Oh. oh, did you? Okay, you did. You did. It's just not showing on the screen. It's confusing to me. So we're going to restart it, I guess. Okay. Okay. What? What? <laughs> okay, come on, guys. Work with me here. Six. Eight. Five. Six. And. Is that not the code? That's the code I have. Six, eight, five, eight. Oh. I also wrote it down. <laughs> nope. Just shoot the star generator. Six. That should work. Eight. Five. Eight. There we go. Sick. Detonation cycle has begun. Okay. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. You ready to detonate fire at any screen? Yeah, I just think I should see. Oh, damn. Uh, well, I think we're gonna take the elevator. I gotta avoid that guy though. Oh, I guess I can do that. Go back the other way. No. Go down. Yeah, there you go. No, 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 no. <laughs> God damn it. You've damn. just been disintegrated by contact with the roid, robot droid. Okay, so next time just book it for the elevator. Yeah. Maybe crank our speed a little bit. I mean. Okay, it is just random. Yeah. Hell 
All right, be ready to F6, I guess. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking around. Okay, not this damn spaceship. Go through here yet? Oh, hey, now it works. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. End of the video game. We did it. We didn't get all the points, though, Em. You know what? Maybe I feel all right about it. Maybe there's more points. There's more points back on the ship. We should, we should go back. Get in. Escape pod. You swiftly slip into the sleek ship. Try to say that three times fast. I will not. Um, turn on ship. You frantically search the control console for the launch button. Aha! There it is. You should probably close the canopy first. No, we don't know the canopy. Um, what? Okay, we just type launch. <laughs> oh, there we go. Woo! Oh, look at us go out of the... Just pop out. Hell yeah. Damn, what a cool little explosion. The Deltar has been blown to tiny fragments by the force of the Star Generator's blast. You have saved the lives of millions of your people, not to mention the lives of those in other systems. Don't get a big hat. <laughs> Congratulations, Roger. You've rid the universe of the evil Sarians and saved your people from certain doom. The Star Generator technology is safe inside the data cartridge. Now a new Star Generator can be built and can carry out its original task. You're an all-around hero. You've made it home safely aboard the stolen Sarian craft, where you encountered a cheering Xenon crowd. They have gathered together for a ceremony in your honor. The ceremony is already in progress. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. As a token of our appreciation, you are presented with a golden mop. Thank you, Roger, for cleaning up our galaxy, says the Xenon leader. Once a janitor, always a janitor. Incredible. It's fucking the droid just getting hyped. The end. The end. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Watch for Space Watch Quest 2. We will. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you for making this game, Scott Murphy, and another guy, Mark Crow. I knew it. I was like, Cameron Crow. He makes a movie. Mark Crow. Uh, wow. So that was fun. Yeah. What did you, what did you think, N M? I really enjoyed it. Um, I feel like the logic got a little uh, stringent near the end there. It's, um, it's funny because it started out pretty like normal. Yes. I think, and then and then it really took a dive at the end. Yes. Um, which, you know, fair enough. That's how a lot of games were, especially at the time. Mm -hmm. Endings are hard. Sure, like, people didn't really figure race. out game endings until, like, the late 90s, even later, if you, depending on who you ask. I have to say, I think some people still haven't figured out game endings. That's yeah, true. But you're right. <laughs> most games haven't figured out endings. It's the rare one that I'm not does. playing big games anymore, to be fair, so. That's true. Well, so next time, Space Quest Two: Vohal's Revenge. Hell yeah! We don't, I don't even know who that is. We don't know who Vohal is. No, it's really funny because yeah. it's, it's it's right there on the title. Um, and like it's just like who, who my guy. But uh, yeah. So next week, Em. Same yeah, bad time, absolutely. same bad channel. That'd be it. 
All right, everyone, thank you for watching. We hope you had as much fun as we have, and we'll see you back next week for Space Quest 2, Vohal's Revenge. And yeah. maybe we'll find out who Vohal is. <laughs> what if we just don't? Yeah, I don't, like, you just never explain it. Um, I don't remember if I've actually even played Space Quest 2. It never got a, a VGA remake. Oh, okay. Um, at least I don't, yeah, I don't think, I don't think it got a remake. Um, but, uh, so I don't, I don't think I ever played it. Or maybe I played like five minutes of it, but. So we're going to have a much harder time is what you're saying. We are. I'm not going to remember shit, so. <laughs> but hey, Space Quest 3 will make up for lost time there. Okay. <laughs> All right. And where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at em underscore being, co-host em dash being, and you can find all my podcasts at abnormalmapping.com. All right. Well, bye, everyone. Bye. All right. <laughs>